Good morning, Dave here with Organic Gardening in North Carolina. It is February the 16th, and I am out here in my garden in the woods. Got a tiny little spot here cleared. I'm gonna have to clear some more so it gets some sun in here. But I planted some things. I planted a cover crop or green manure crop, crop that I'm planning to let grow and then dig into the soil. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what we've got going. Okay, I've got a cover crop mix that I planted. I planted annual rye grass. I put that in a seed spreader and just spread that over the whole area before I did anything else. Because so I figured whatever I did tromping around here would get the seed put under the leaves so the birds won't eat it all. <laughs> so anyways, and then I did plant some potatoes right along the edge of this tree here. I got a nice little strand of potatoes. See if they come up and do anything. I also planted some onion sets in this little area here. You can see these onion sets. That's one of the bigger ones. I just planted this little part here and I didn't put so much cover crops there. But I also made furrows every 36 inches or so and I put sugar peas or sugar snap peas in the furrows and covered them over. Then I also put sunflower seeds. I put those in a seed spreader and spread those across the whole, the whole area here too. Let's see, I guess I'll know that's not it. I also put some radishes and beets I just spread those by hand because I really didn't put very many of those out. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. The annual ryegrass should sprout up and probably die before it even goes to seed because it's going to get hot here so soon. I also picked up some fruit trees at a local store. These are basically bare root. I didn't even realize that quite, but I got an apple mutsu and they said that had to have a pollinator. So I got a yellow delicious for a pollinator. So I'm not really sure yellow delicious is a, a super great variety for this area or for a home gardener. Then I also put in a pecan tree right here. That was just a tiny little sprout too. I planted some pecans around this area also because you have to have more than one pecan tree to be able to get the uh, nuts to form. So hopefully some of those will sprout up too. I also have my fig tree, one of my fig trees in a pot that I'm gonna bring over here and plant. I'll probably plant that in between the two apple trees because I can always prune the fig tree back. Fig trees go, grow really fast. So I can prune that back and we'll be good because the apple trees are a good distance apart. They're probably, uh, they're probably 20 feet apart at least. Here's my hugo culture bed, which I haven't really done much with. I did throw some seeds in that too to see if anything sprouts up through there and grows. I need to get this big tree that I cut down over there and put that down at the base there to hold everything in place and then put some mulch and leaves and wood chips and everything and then topsoil over the top of it. But I guess that will be another day. I am starting to feel better. Actually I thought I was getting better. I was totally off prednisone and test results came back bad again. So they still don't know what is wrong with me why I'm sick. And I'm on prednisone again. The prednisone helps me to function. So we'll see how much I get done this summer. All right, well that's it. Have a blessed day.
may your garden grow well.